Cuba offers a unique blend of history, culture and natural beauty. From the colourful streets of Havana to the white, sandy Caribbean beaches, there's something for everyone to experience and love in Cuba. Wonderfully Lost presents this Cuba travel guide video, full of information on what to do, where to stay and what to eat, so you can get the most out of your time on the island known as the Pearl of the Antilles. Watch until the end of today's video to learn where you can dance in a million-year-old cave. And don't forget to subscribe to Wonderfully Lost for more trending travel guides in less than 10 minutes. All right, let's go. Havana. Travel to Cuba was once restricted, especially for Americans. Fortunately, the country is now open to more and more tourists from all over the world. However, if you're an American, you do still need to obtain a visa before you travel to Cuba. Even if it requires some paperwork, it is worth the effort to visit this incredible Caribbean country. Your flight will bring you into Havana, Cuba's capital, and your introduction to the beautiful and unique Cuban culture. In Havana, you will find vibrant people, colours and cuisine within a historic city. Havana has well-preserved colonial architecture, classic vintage American cars, and the sounds of salsa music in the streets, and all underneath the hot Caribbean sun. Cuba and its people are passionate, lively and musical. Havana's music and dance scene is unmatched. Whether you love the clubs, are learning to salsa or just want to watch others dancing in the streets, Havana will surely get you moving. When you are ready to rest your feet, you are never far from the beach. Soak up the sun, swim in the crystal clear Caribbean waters and enjoy the local cuisine. Take a stroll along the famous El Malacón seaside promenade and sample the many local shops, restaurants and views of the city and ocean. At night, El Malacón comes alive as a focal point of Cuban nightlife. For those looking to learn more about Cuba's dramatic and intriguing history, there are many museums in Havana alone, the most breathtaking being the Museum of the Revolution, which is housed in Havana's old presidential palace. The museum is dedicated to Cuba's Revolutionary War, which took place in the 1950s. There are countless other art museums, churches and museums dedicated to chocolate, cigars and Cuban rum. No matter what your interests are, you are bound to find something that you will love. What to eat in Cuba? When it comes to Cuban cuisine, it's as exciting and varied as the Cuban people themselves. Travellers will find a range of options, from homemade street food to elegant dining at high-end restaurants. Paladas, or privately owned restaurants, typically hosted out of people's homes, offer a unique blend of traditional Cuban cuisine and international flavours in unique spaces and welcoming, homey vibes. You'll typically find dishes such as ropa vieja, shredded beef in tomato sauce, and lechon asado, roast pork, all at very affordable prices. Some of the most popular paladas in Havana include La Guarida, El Cocinero and San Cristobal Palada. If you're just strolling around, you will certainly come across a lot of street food vendors serving up empanadas, croqueta, deep fried balls of ham or chicken and tamales along with fresh fruits and sandwiches. Street food is a great way to experience the local flavours and culture while also saving money. Finally, you would be missing out on not indulging in Cuba's seafood. Seafood is incredibly popular here and you can find some of the most delicious dishes such as grilled fish, shrimp, lobster and ceviche. Many of these seafood restaurants are located on the waterfront, offering great views of the ocean while dining. A couple of popular seafood restaurants in Havana worth checking out are Palada Vistama, where you can watch the sunset over the ocean during your dinner, and Restaurante Santi Pescadore, a little place overlooking Havana's docks that serves up fresh seafood and sushi. Where to stay in Cuba? Several of Havana's hotels will offer you a taste of historic luxury. The Grand Hotel Manzana Kempinski La Habana, located in the heart of Old Havana, is a five-star hotel that features a rooftop terrace, panoramic views of the city, and a luxury spa and pool. The hotel's guest rooms are spacious and extravagant, with marble bathrooms and private balconies. Many popular landmarks, restaurants and clubs in Old Havana are walkable from this hotel, making this a perfect destination for travellers looking to be right in the action. This hotel will cost you between 400 and 600 a night. 
Another high-end option is the Hotel Nacional de Cuba, which costs between $300 and $500 a night for a regular room and over $1,000 a night if you're looking at one of their suites. This hotel first opened in 1930 in the oceanfront district of Bedardo. This hotel has hosted many famous guests over the years, including Winston Churchill, Frank Sinatra and Ernest Hemingway. Today, it continues to offer luxury accommodations, elegant decor and modern amenities. If you're looking for a more intimate boutique hotel experience, the Art Boutique Havana is a great option. This hotel is located in the heart of Old Havana. Here you'll find a little oasis in the middle of the city with kind and attentive staff, nature all around and beautiful artwork throughout the hotel. This hotel costs between $100 and $200 a night, making it a very affordable option. Travelling around Cuba The second largest city in Cuba is Santiago de Cuba, which is home to some of the most incredible and well-preserved Spanish architecture. A top attraction in Santiago de Cuba is Castillo de San Pedro de la Roca, a historic fortress that has guarded the city's bay since 1638. You can hike up the many stairs to get to the top, look out on the ocean, and envision the battleships and pirates that once roamed these waters. This incredible structure is a testament to the architecture, history, and natural beauty of the area. Another historic site to see is the Cathedral of Santiago de Cuba, an 18th century colonial era cathedral and national monument of Cuba. For those more adventurous and backcountry travelers, the westernmost tip of Cuba offers a more natural and wild experience. The small town of Vinales, which consists mostly of small wooden houses, is an alternative to the big cities. Guests can stay at one of the bed and breakfasts that operate out of these small houses. Otherwise, there are numerous campgrounds and cabins available for rent if you brought your own sleeping bag. Out here, you will experience the more natural and rugged side of Cuba, home to the Valley de Vinales National Park. Lace up your hiking shoes and go exploring in the low mountains, lush valleys and mysterious caves. Cuba's nightlife even reaches out this far. Even in the depths of a million-year-old cave, you can find Cubans and tourists dancing and partying the night away. One thing is for sure, Cubans will dance and sing no matter where they are. And there you have it, our Cuba travel guide. Are you ready to be transported to a tropical world of both natural and architectural beauty, lively nightlife and relaxing days at the beach? Tell us what you're most excited to see and do on your Cuban adventure and be sure to subscribe to our channel, Wonderfully Lost, for more awesome travel videos in 10 minutes or less.